So the next question reads, let capital T represent the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit of an object in a room whose temperature is kept at a constant 60 degrees. From Newton's law of cooling, we know that the rate of change in the temperature is proportional to the difference between T and 60. If the object cools from 100 to 90 degrees in 10 minutes, how much longer will it take for its temperature to decrease to 80 degrees? So in this problem, there's definitely a lot going on. But the first thing that I hone in on is the fact that in the middle of the question, it says, we know that the rate of change in the temperature is proportional to the difference between T and 60. What this tells me is that the, the rate of change in the temperature, or D capital T, DT, dt now that's a little confusing because this is time down here and this is temperature up here is proportional so i'm going to use k to the difference between t and 60. now difference means subtraction so i'm going to set it up like this so here's our differential equation and i'm just going to read the underlying part again the rate of change in temperature is proportional to the difference between t and 60. Now my objective is to get all things with capital T on the left and all things without capital T to the right. So this is going to require a little bit of division. In my next step, I'm going to integrate both sides. On the left hand side, we have a situation in which the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. So it's the ln rule. Now focusing on the left hand side, the implied base is E. So at this time, I'm going to do a swing and say that e to the kt plus c is equal to t minus 60. Focusing it again on the left-hand side, I'm going to take this exponential expression and I'm going to rewrite it as the product of two things with base e. Now we've seen this maneuver a number of times. I'm going to rewrite this constant, e to the c, as a more simplistic constant, merely c sub 2. Now I'm going to organize some of the data that's given to me in the latter portion of the question. So I'm going to set up a chart with lowercase t and capital T. So in the very beginning of the problem, the temperature is 100. And as the object sits in the room, it starts to cool off. So 10 minutes later, it's down to 90 degrees. And the question wants to know how much longer will it take to reach 80 degrees. So this is sort of driving the whole question, this little portion of the data table right there. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start with the first data point, 0, 100, and plug that in to our function that we just came up with. So I'm going to say 100 is equal to c sub 2 times e to the k times 0 plus 60. Now k times 0 is 0, and e to the 0 is 1, so we really just have 100 is equal to c sub 2 plus 60. And this tells us that c sub 2 is equal to 40. Now I'm going to try to seek out what k is. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to start over again. t is equal to 40 times e to the kt plus 60. Now this time I'm going to go to my second data point, and I'm going to allow capital T to be 90, and lowercase t to be 10. And this is going to enable me to solve for k. Now my first maneuver is to subtract 60 from both sides. So I'm going to end up getting 40 times e to the 10k is equal to 30. And then I'll divide both sides by 40. And then I'll take the natural log of both sides. And then I'll use the power rule on the left side. Ln of e is just 1, so that goes away. And finally, k is going to equal 1 tenth the ln of 3 fourths. Now I'm running out of space, so I'm going to have to get rid of some of the things that I've already written. So I'm going to go over to the left and get rid of some of this stuff. I'm just giving you a little warning here. So now plugging in both c and k, we have t equals 40 times e to the kt, but k is really 1 tenth ln 3 fourths t plus 60. Now I want to plug in 80 
for capital T and solve for lowercase t. My next step will be to subtract 60 from both sides. And my next step will be to divide both sides by 40. Now I'll take the natural log of both sides. Now I'll use the power rule on the right hand side. And finally, I'll divide both sides by 1 tenth ln of 3 fourths to get what t is. But of course, I'm running out of space yet again, so I'm going to get rid of the middle column here. And now I'm going to go to my calculator. Now when I entered this in on my calculator, I converted a lot of these values to decimals, so it wasn't so annoying to enter in. And I got 24.094. So this is the answer, or this is how long it's going to take, this many minutes, until it cools to 80 degrees. Now the question's phrased a little bit strangely. It says, how much longer will it take? Well, if after 10 minutes it became 90, after an additional 14.094 minutes will it become 80? So the answer is actually an additional 14.094 minutes. And if you're thinking, wow, this is the problem that just never ended, you know, I kind of feel that way too. It's definitely a tough problem, and it's one that you really need to work through until you can own it and say, yeah, I, I know how to do every step along the way. Slide.